Hello, Systems Greetings to all of you. I am Dr. Sony George, Head of the Department of Ophthalmology at Medical Trust Hospital, Cochin. Today, we will be talking about common eye problems in children, refractive errors and also digital eye strain. If you look at the common problems in children, the most common problem we have is refractive errors. By refractive errors, I mean short sight, long sight and astigmatism or a mixture of these. So how do you know whether a child has these problems? When a child has a refractive error, the child is not able to see things as clearly as a child with normal eyes. And as a result, what happens? The child will go too near to a TV while you are watching the TV or a picture while he is watching it or he may rub his eyes, he may have headache or his school performance will go down because he is not able to see what the teacher is writing on the board. So, when do you suspect that the child has got a refractive error? If any of this happen, you should definitely take the child to an eye specialist and check. Ideally, you should take every child as soon as he starts learning the alphabets and knows how to read the alphabets properly as soon as possible to the ophthalmologist. Have a checkup. If you detect some refractive error or any disease, please get the treatment. If he asks you to wear glasses, definitely wear glasses. If any child who is prescribed glasses for either short sight, long sight or astigmatism should have a six monthly checkup. If there are any other problems, then definitely please follow your ophthalmologist's advice. Even before this, any child, even a newborn, if he's got a squint, definitely you should consult your ophthalmologist. If the child is not identifying his parents at the age at which he is supposed to do, definitely you should. If the child is not fixing properly on objects, definitely you need to do have a checkup with the ophthalmologist. Otherwise, a preschool checkup once he learns the alphabets, and then if he does not have a problem, he does not have need to have a yearly checkup. But if he has, definitely you should have a regular checkup. In spite of not having a problem in the first checkup, if the child develops any of these symptoms later, like going too near the TV or poor academic performance or uh, headache, eye strain, you should definitely consult an ophthalmologist. Second is about a difficulty of vision once a patient becomes around 40 years plus. This is called presbyopia. That means you are not able to read properly at the normal distance you hold, but your far vision is okay. So this is because at 40 years, your lens loses its plasticity. So you need to wear glasses for reading. So depending on your age, you can, uh, your ophthalmologist will either prescribe you a bifocal or a progressive lens, which gives you an entire range of vision. You can read, you can see your laptop and you can have a good far vision also. Even if you don't use these glasses, nothing will happen. But for your comfort, for your comfort of reading at all ranges of distances, presbyopic glasses is very essential. Children with astigmatism and hyperopia will have more of headache and eye strain rather than visual problems. Whereas a child with short sight will definitely have decreased vision over eye strain. Now, the newer thing which is emerging is the digital eye strain. Digital eye strain is nothing but the result of using lot of gadgetry, computers, laptops, mobiles excessively. Earlier it used to be limited to IT professional, but with the COVID, onset of COVID and all these things, even children are using all this gadgetry very long. So what happens? You have the muscle inside your eye gets fatigued, you can develop headache, you can develop sore eyes, you can have an eye strain. So anybody with these symptoms should definitely consult your ophthalmologist and have a checkup. Make sure you don't have any undetected refractive errors like astigmatism or long sight or short sight. Get it corrected. Over and above this, you should follow certain principles. What happens is a person who is using a laptop or a computer blinks very less number of times than a normal person. A normal person blinks around 20 times, whereas a computer use, user blinks maybe around 
four times. So to improve all this, you should follow the 20-20 rule. So you work, look at the monitor for 20 minutes, take your eye off the computer for 20 seconds. Then go back for 20 minutes, then 20 seconds. These 20 seconds, either you should keep your eye closed and count 20, or you blink 20 times, either of it is okay. Then after these 20 seconds, you go back to work. This is not going to affect your speed of work. After two hours of work, you have to have a five minute break. During this break, you should not use your eye at all. You shouldn't immediately go pick up a book and start reading. Don't look at your watch. Go for a walk, come back, have a cup of coffee, refresh yourself and come back. These two things are very important. More than that, your posture should be very clear. It should be an erect posture. And ideally, your monitor should be slightly below the level of your eye so that you don't have to lift up your eye and see. And your feet should be touching the floor parallelly and your hands should be resting parallelly on the table or your pad. If you follow this and have a six monthly checkup, any IT professional or anybody who is using gadgetry along and develops eyes, digital eye strain can protect their eyes and go ahead with their work without having headaches and eye strains. Thank you very much for a patient hearing.